Hello everyone, and welcome to our Horizon Zero Dawn Let's Play. Today we embark upon our adventure with Trader's Bounty. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard, and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families, if you have one. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you. So I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I'd like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. I'll do what I can for Uthid, but what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. By the sun, the exile has been hard on the old timers. I heard another one. Three dead trees, just like Vanasha said. Let's see if Uthid came through here. These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. Once again, we're back on the hunt, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like we do have some tracks over here. What have I been saying this whole time? They need to stay out of the mud. It makes it way too easy to track. I don't know what these guys' affinity is with walking in mud, but this needs to stop. Just has to stop. But... Long behold, we're back on the hunt once again. Obviously going to be climbing our way all the way to the very tippy top, hopefully not falling down and dying. Time to climb. Now, as we have been advancing our career as a master climber, hopefully this will actually work out pretty well for us. Now, of course, in the off chance that you guys saw the one time that we slipped, I don't know what you guys are talking about, okay? There's no video evidence of that occurring. It seems to be a made-up thing that you guys are talking about. So, you know, for all I know, we have never missed a climb. We are absolutely phenomenal at this ability. And it's just one of those things, you know, we got those tiny little fingers can fit into all those crevices. And it just kind of works out pretty well in our favor. All right, made it. Where did you go, Uthid? Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Once again, it looks like we are continuing down the slope this time around. 
obviously he had a very gorgeous view. I mean, I don't know how you could leave something like that, being able to look out and kind of see your attackers coming or just kind of admire the landscape. A dead machine. This had been hunting. Everything useful has been stripped. Uthid's been gathering components, probably for ammo. Ugh, gone talks, looking to scavenge. Well, they really seem to be not a fan of us. Obviously, they saw some of their machine counterparts that are no longer with them, and they've decided that it is time to basically die in their case. Now, I'm going to try to go for him. He seems to really be hanging back. Maybe he's like a leader or something like that. You seem to have just a couple of them. That guy is basically out of commission. And we're having some difficulties on the final one, but this one looks to also be going down for the count. Where did he go from here? Uthid took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. Dead Watchers. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. Of course, very impressive, but I feel like our kill count is more impressive by this point. I mean, we've taken down so many machines that, I mean, the game almost has to just give us a trophy for how awesome we've been. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man, and a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavas for the son's judgment. The High Priest Bahavas? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men. So their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. If it's honor you seek, the sun card just seemed trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those cards at once raided your Nora lands raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had- Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. I can believe you're a good man, but why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes, an untainted vessel. I believed he was pure, but they used him, used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. 
I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out. <laughs> Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. Got someone to fight here! Alrighty, well, let's take out the archers to start things off, because they can actually be the more difficult things to deal with. I do not see our friends, but they appear to be right over there. Moments ago, we did see quite a big boy that was actually moving over. Alrighty here, once again, we do have some archers all the way up on the very tippy top up there. Man, we almost got that one, but unfortunately... We were just having a little bit of difficulty trying to catch up with him. He's such a, a nimble young man. They keep saying that they're going to be finishing something, but the only thing they're going to be signing is their death wish because their ability to be archers is nowhere near as good as ours. Even though those last few shots there did look like they missed, I promise you they were perfectly aligned. We were just uh, playing some tricks on your guys' eyes. Man, that shot there, I mean, if this was like the Matrix or something, that guy literally would have been able to run right over to that arrow. Follow me. I've stashed supplies up above. Up and over. Grab what you can while we still have time. A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marvels. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. Alrighty here, we're going to get our more efficient arrows once again, trying to deal some additional damage to this gentleman over here. I'm really going to try to get these archers out of commission, considering that they could create lots of problems for us. Looks like we have a guy with a stick over there trying to run over and say hello. Obviously not going to let him get too close. Unfortunately, we were pretty close on that gentleman, but it looks like uh, she's no longer going to really be dealing a whole lot of damage to us. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that, but well, I guess we'll let these guys get basically down to the ground because they are basically invincible when it comes down to their ability to come down but really not having a whole lot of trickiness going on here once this person lands we're going to shoot them as soon as they hit the ground and once again we have a new friend coming down to say hello obviously things aren't going to work out too well because they weren't working out well for their friends another battle Take 
take her down. Looks like we do have some more friends that are coming over to say hello. Obviously, that person's going to kind of do a little bit of ducking and cover, which I do appreciate. You know, it's nice to see some ingenuity every once in a blue moon. Now, unfortunately, we do have our friend over here that we're kind of keeping an eye on, but going to take him out of commission. Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? This won't be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. Across there and we'll have him. I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid, and mine. The Outlanders led us here, and now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. After. Okay, no more sneak. Scalp the savage. Heal his senses to fill out the sun. All right, we do have a person with some kind of heavy weapon over here, so let's take them out of commission to start with, considering that I bet that deals a lot of damage in the off chance that they hit us. Now I'm going to line up this final shot here, and it should be able to take them out of commission. It does look like we actually need to go talk to this gentleman and kind of see why he has so many problems with us. He's kind of a hater. I must say. Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. <laughs> That was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shand, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. <sighs> You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavas is dead? 
Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohuadiv, near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Huadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None at all. I was just being polite. 